Hello, everyone. Welcome to the fall 2023 semester at the University of Alberta, I guess. This is the uh, Alberta School of Business. My name is Rob Sombach, and I'll be your professor for one of my classes. Not entirely sure which one. Uh, this video is really just to say hello, welcome you, uh, give you a quick introduction into what I'm planning for the semester. Uh, and so to get started, um, just a little bit of homework to start before uh, classes begin on September 5th. Uh, read your syllabus for your particular class. Uh, I'm not going to go over everything in the syllabus. I'll pick out some important things that I think I would like to talk about, things like grading and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, but do read the syllabus. It's kind of like our contract for the semester. Um, I, I will say it's subject to change until I talk about it in class. Once I talk about it in class, things won't change in it. So uh, do read it before class. If you've got questions, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, as far as how I deliver uh, a semester, uh, if you've taken 311 with me in the past or any other 400 level classes, BTM classes with me, uh, I think you know I've adopted a hybrid learning. Uh, that includes paperless. I don't hand out any paper. Uh, I don't expect you to buy a physical textbook. Um, in fact, I don't even require uh, textbooks in all of my classes. They're there just more for a reference, for another opinion, another point of view, but uh, I'm definitely uh, going paperless or have gone paperless uh, since the uh, pandemic. Um, and then I do use a combination of synchronous and asynchronous delivery. So all of my lectures, I will be in the classroom. Whatever is listed in BearTracks, I will be in that classroom. I will deliver the lectures. I will hope to have conversations with you during my classes. But at the same time, I will also join the Google Meet classroom listed in the eClass for the particular class you're taking for, from me. Uh, join that. Uh, I will let you in if uh, I need to. Otherwise, you can just join the classroom. Uh, no requirements for uh, cameras or anything like that, um, but I will uh, encourage you to ask questions if you are attending a synchronous online lecture. Just ask the questions. I do have my audio hooked into the classroom, so your colleagues in the classroom will be able to hear you, uh, and I'll be able to answer questions. Um, so please interrupt me. Uh, you know, part of learning is asking questions, is uh, differing uh, opinions, and so I'm really uh, striving to bring that into uh, my sort of hybrid. Uh, approach to classes. So please don't hesitate to interrupt me. Uh, the asynchronous component is each of those classrooms, I am going to record uh, the uh, live lecture uh, and then I will post it to uh, YouTube. I will put a link to it in eClass. You can watch it in eClass if you want. Uh, uh, anything that's sort of announcements, discussion board type stuff, homeworks, exercises, assignments, group work, all that kind of stuff will be sort of the asynchronous side of things. So I will provide recorded videos of the lectures. I'll talk more about this in the classroom. I sort of before I start recording, I kind of go through a, a bit of a uh, uh, on the first day of class, like, you know, here's what we can expect and, and uh, just make you aware that I will be recording things. So uh, for me, it feels weird if I don't record uh, when I'm teaching these days. So I, I will uh, continue to record everything and make that available to you uh, shortly after class. I sort of say, and I think the syllabus 24 hours, but it's usually a couple hours. So depending on my schedule for the day, I usually do it. Uh, as quickly as I can. And I just record the Google Meets. It's not edited. You will get all of my ums and my ahs and all of those kinds of things, uh, but it does give you uh, access to it. Uh, I do turn on transcripts, so uh, you'll get the auto-generated transcripts. You can pause, you can rewind, uh, you can play it at double speed if I don't talk fast enough for you, uh, but I do want to give you the opportunity. I guess the one thing I would say uh, in terms of student responsibilities is, uh, you know, treat this coursework as your job, same sort of expectations, be where you need to be at the particular time. Obviously, when I provide a hybrid learning environment, I'll sort of put more of the onus on you to get the materials. Uh, you are responsible for getting all of the lecture materials. Uh, I will record it. You can come to the classroom, you can watch it online, whatever works for you. But I will say and caution you, if you are a student that knows you are not good at watching recorded videos, then I will 100% encourage you to either come to the classroom, the physical in-person classroom, or uh, attend the live lecture. Because if you know you're not going to watch a recording, I don't record them so that it gives you license to skip. Uh, I do have conversations and there's things that I like to talk about. It's things that I like to interact with students. It's part of going to school. Uh, if you know you're never going to watch a recorded video, then come to the classroom or join the stream online. Uh, don't rely on yourself to, I'm going to catch up and watch 30 videos at the end of the semester. You know you won't do it. I know you won't do it. And I think you're really learning out on, uh, missing out on some of your education. So treat your coursework as your job. I've got the same kind of expectations. I'm not, you know, sort of one to take attendance. I understand that you have uh, things going on in your lives and, and you're welcome to do that. Uh, as far as assessments go, uh, I've, again, uh, continued to adopt a hybrid approach. All of my exams uh, are in e-class. They tend to be online, digital formats. 
Um, you know, I don't, uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan. I wasn't a huge fan before the pandemic of, of having everyone in the classroom at the same uh, time to write the, the same exam. Uh, just because I was never one that uh, was good at writing exams uh, in the afternoon. I preferred morning exams, but if I had a class at 3.30 to 5 o'clock, I may not be at my peak uh, to write an exam at that time. So I do give you some flexibility on when you can start the exam. Obviously, I will share more information and details as uh, in each of my classes as we get to close to uh, midterm and final season or periods within the semester there. Uh, and I guess just to sort of wrap up your responsibilities, focus on learning, being exposed to different perspectives. Uh, I think the whole thing of your undergrad degree or the whole uh, purpose of your undergrad degree is really to expose you to a whole bunch of different perspectives and ideas and things that you may not agree with, things you may agree with. Uh, don't just take classes that uh, you're comfortable with. Try to expand and think outside the box a little bit. And so a class like uh, the BTM classes, um, I think there's always a challenge to kind of figure out where does this fit into a business degree. Uh, I will tell you honestly from conversations I've had with people in industry that these kinds of skills, and we'll talk about those in all of my classes, uh, really are what um, we would talk about digital transformation or uh, uh, critical thinking is how do we use a lot of the technologies in our world today to solve business problems, maybe traditional business problems. But then the question then becomes is how do you come up with a solution? And how do you start putting budgets and schedules to those kinds of things? If you're not even, you know, sort of aware of, you know, like a tool like uh, uh, the generative AIs, how does an organization use those kinds of things? Well, that's going to be up to you to sort of think about. There's lots of things that go along with it. So different uh, uh, perspectives, you know, I, I don't have like a one plus one sort of uh, uh, class. This is really sort of about conversations, about thinking, it's about critical thinking, it's about research and all those kinds of things. So uh, I really uh, uh, appreciate appreciated these skills when I was in industry and, and uh, you know, I'm hoping that you'll sort of see some of those as well. Uh, and then finally, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, I will sort of make myself as available as I can. I'm sort of officially setting my office hours on Mondays and Thursdays from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, of course, reach out to me by email, come see me in class. You know, we can definitely uh, schedule times if, if that doesn't work for you. I know uh, some of you may have classes on both of those kinds of days. I tried to alternate the, uh, you know, the Mondays and the Wednesdays and the Tuesdays and Thursdays and have one day so that, you know, I didn't do it just all on Wednesdays and Mondays and, and uh, that doesn't help students. So I tried to vary that a little bit. Uh, and I will, much like my classrooms, I will be in my office in on the third floor uh, in the business building. Office 20B, I will be there in person, but I will also join a Google Meet, the Office Hours Google Meet link that's in eClass. You can join that uh, and I'll be in there at the start of Office Hours or as close to the start of Office Hours as I can. If I get stuck in a classroom uh, a little bit later or something like that, it might be a few minutes late, but uh, I will join a virtual uh, Google Meet or a Google uh, Office and uh, we can definitely uh, have a conversation as well. So I'll leave it up to you to uh, uh, reach out if you've got questions. I think part of learning again is asking questions. So uh, that's it for me. Have a great uh, long weekend. Uh, this is kind of the last hurrah. It's been very nice weather-wise, but uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you all next week. Classes officially start on September 5th uh, for the Tuesday, Thursdays, and uh, September 6th for the Monday, Wednesdays class. Monday's a holiday, so we don't have there. So if you've got any questions, bring them. Uh, looking forward to meeting you, and uh, I will see you next week. Take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend.